Our environment is a growing environment. A plant grows over time. It gets better over time. The environmental aspect of fair trade standards is developmental. So over a certain period of time, you progress to meet those standards. Fairtrade is a certification company that certified companies produces against standards that Fairtrade International has created. These standards cover environmental, social and economic aspects. Companies may choose to be fair trade because they want to be fair to the environment. They might choose fair trade because they want to be fair to farmers and workers. Companies might choose fair trade because they want to validate some of the good initiatives or show the world that we can meet some of the most stringent environmental standards or social standards in the world. The mission is to create an environment that is fair to earth where companies meet standards that are to the benefit of the environment. For consumers, it means that they can make a change every day by the purchases that they make. And they can contribute to farmers pursuing sustainable farming. I can tell you that Fairtrade wine farms in South Africa produce over 90,000 metric tons of wine grapes that are Fairtrade certified in South Africa. I can tell you that in South Africa, fair trade covers more than 7,500 hectares of vineyards. But really what it means is that we're moving in a direction where people are taking action today and they're putting in place practices today that is not just to the benefit of people today, but also to generations and for the future to come. Essentially, the fair trade standards encourage our producers to incorporate good agricultural practices that are sustainable. It requires producers to have soil and water management practices and plans in place. It prohibits the use of harmful chemicals, especially that is degrades and harms the soil. It protects biodiversity or requires producers to enhance biodiversity on their farms pest management, waste management, as well as no GMOs. When you think of it, wine is this precious gift from Earth. And it's not fair to just take. It's not sustainable just to take. Wine farms, like all farms, have a responsibility to meet the needs of people today without compromising the needs of those in the future. And that is where fair trade comes in. Sustainability for me is trying to do the best that you can to preserve the earth. Nobody owns a piece of land. Somebody else at the end of the day is going to take custody of this land. And our responsibility, I think, as winemakers or agriculturalists in South Africa is really to push sustainable production of agriculture. So we're in Journey's End, um, we're in Somerset West, but we fit under the Stellenbosch Wine of Origin scheme. Socially and sustainability-wise, we've been helped um, instrumentally by Fairtrade because we, we had already initiated a lot of these projects um, prior to us joining Fairtrade. They've been really instrumental in targeting areas that we need to focus on and that are important. The B project was actually um, initiated before I was even here. We work with a, a beekeeper in Somerset West. Bees are great pollinators. So the Gabs have also done a one hectare indigenous Feinbos garden, which they've just installed now. And we also plan on doing indigenous flower fields and sort of meadows. Bees love flowers as they're pollinators. A big sort of focus at Journey's End is to really um, keep all of the water that we catch on the farm. So we've installed drainage ditches right throughout the perimeter and through certain areas of the farm um, to catch all of our drainage water or our rainwater and uh, flow it into our three irrigation dams. We've got some soils at Journey's End which are very clayey and very compact and sort of hard and the water sort of bounces straight off them and runs downhill. Yeah, we use our excess, we call it MOG in the wine industry, material other than grapes. So we 
putting all the scrape mulch basically over the top of, of those surfaces to prevent any soil erosion, to prevent any natural waterways that basically occur throughout our farm. Speckboom is a exceptionally high absorber of carbon dioxide, so it reduces your carbon footprint pretty extensively. <laughs> But Fairtrade's really given us a bit of direction because these, these projects are, are really um, expensive. Um, so we need financial feasibility at, at the same time as us doing uh, good for the environment. And, and Fairtrade's really helped us um, sort of target those, those areas. And it doesn't need to be a big, huge investment at one time. It needs to be little, small investments that your company can afford and that puts puts you onto the sort of next level. I can see a huge sort of dramatic improvements in our, in our vineyard quality and in our grape quality. The future looks bright. <laughs> the purpose of fair trade is to create an environment, a trading environment, a business environment that puts the producer in a beneficial or advantageous position where they get a fair price for their product where they get a price for sustainable farming, for sustainable living, and a price where they can move themselves into a future that is better for themselves. Where we can help and where we can change methods, I think it should be second nature to everyone. The return for us is seeing how you conserve your environment, how you can become involved with fair trade, how it makes you more sustainable. So that is a return on investment. It's areas that are conserved 10, 20, 30 years from now, it will still be there because someone is looking after it. We are at Vergelegen Wine Estate in Somerset West. I'm responsible here to try and keep things as green as possible and to find new innovative ways of doing things to decrease the carbon footprint we have on the environment. There's always things we can learn and we're always willing to learn and in that way fair trade's guidelines sometimes guides us in the right direction. The fact that we can be fair trade certified and assist with wine sales and it actually becomes a marketing tool also is great. But we do do it also because from an environmental perspective and all perspectives it's just the right thing to do. Being involved with fair trade now made it formal, if I can call it that. Um, we've been doing it for years, but through fair trade now, it's seen by other people, it's seen in advertising, it's seen on your wine bottle. So it's, I think it's come and it's taken everything together and it's now made it formal where it's visible for people to see, other than us just knowing that that's what we do. Our farm consists of 3,200 hectares, of which 95% of that was covered in very dense alien vegetation. So in 95, we decided that something needs to be done about it. In 2004, a large-scale alien clearing project kicked off. And this alien clearing project gave rise to, or it was the start of all the other initiatives to follow from that. By removing the alien vegetation, we freed up water. Wetlands that hadn't been wetlands for years returned to their historical form. Bird life increased, animal life increased, insects increased, and all this plays a part in the fair trade standards because we decrease our herbicide and pesticide use on the farm because you have your indigenous insects that act as a control method against your pests. We're now fully self-sustainable in terms of water use on the property. We have our large dam that remains full because of all the aliens that was removed. The water gets filtered on our own water treatment plant on site. That gets used in the restaurants, in the buildings, in the offices. Irrigation comes from the dam. And it's all designed in such a way that whatever is not used by us flows back into the river and it's available for use further downstream. So again, nothing gets wasted. It's small things. To some people it might not sound like much, but if we put all these small initiatives together, in the end it makes a big difference. 
What fair trade brings to us is the fact that there's a certain set of guidelines that you need to stick to in order to remain fair trade compliant. Previously, you do what you think is right, but there's no one that measures you against anything. Being involved with fair trade, there's someone that's actually going to say, listen, yeah, you need to pick up here yeah, or you need to change this or change that. It keeps us doing better all the time to perform at that standard. I had a staff member on the farm. He's been working on the farm 30 plus years. And after the clearing project was completed, he came to us with tears in his eyes. He says he's now seeing little streams flow with water that he hasn't seen flow in the 30 years that he's been on the farm. And that just makes all the effort worthwhile because it shows you what you're doing is the right thing to do. When consumers purchase a bottle of wine with a fair trade mark on it, it means that they are contributing to change. And that change is all aspects around environmental, social, as well as economic. There's a part of the price of that bottle that goes back into the fund that producers and more especially the workers on those farms can use to better their own environments as also the communities around them. Sustainability is that we have to make sure that what we are doing, we will be able to do this in the future without harming and making sure that the environment is not hurt, making sure that whatever we do, we can carry on doing in the future. You know, making sure our soils are healthy, making sure everything is healthy for future use and making sure that the wines that we are making now, we will be able to produce in 10, 15, 20, 100 and even a thousand years from now. We are in the middle of Stellenbosch at Kleiner Salze. Most people in the wine industry know that a good quality wine is made from good quality grapes. So for us it's very important that you know, we start with a blank canvas and the correct canvas, um, if you put it that way. It's a massive investment as well. So you must make sure that when we do that investment, we do it for the future. And uh, doing it in a sustainable manner is not only the correct way, it's the only way of doing it uh, these days. Um, we've got to make sure that what we are doing and how we are approaching things is relevant not only now but for the generations that will work with it. Fair trade really helps us and pushes us in the right direction to make sure that not only what we think is the correct way of doing but that it actually is the correct way of doing things and, and doing it sustainable. I think in the beginning it's, it's very difficult because it puts a lot of strain on us as farmers because a lot of the products that we used to use willy-dilly in the past are being taken away from us. But if you go and you look at what is the impact of this product and what is it actually doing to the environment, as a human being you will say to yourself, I'm not supposed to do this. I'm supposed to find a different way of doing this. And it helps us by finding different ways. It's our responsibility because we have to leave it better than what we found it. Not for everyone just to say I'm doing it. Because a lot of people like to say I am environmentally friendly. It's nice to have a stamp of approval and say, but yes, I am environmentally friendly. We promote wildlife coming back by having wildlife corridors in between our vineyards. There's also wildlife corridors next to the river so the animals can move freely on the estate itself. And we've seen that, we've got lots of small antelope in the vineyards coming back. We even had a caracal give birth to a small little baby next to the river this year. So you can see it's alive. We are not spraying Orhan Phosphata anymore. We are now releasing little predators to eat mealybugs and try and stop leaf roll from spreading through the vineyards. Where in the past, you would have just took your spray pump and there you go, merry along. And things like that, it annihilates everything. Small insects have a big impact at the end. I'm very hopeful for the future, especially in a place like Clan Isolde, because I have a big passion for bees, and it's amazing to see how the natural bee population have changed. And I think without bees, it's the smallest thing. There will be nothing left. So I am hopeful, because I'm seeing more bees. It's baby steps to meet the environmental standards set up by fair trade. The good thing is that Fairtrade is there alongside our partners every step of the way. 